What's up, you beautiful people? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix document profile issues. So what I'm talking about very specifically or very briefly is that you import or place an image file of any description into your document, whether it be CMYK or RGB. And instead of getting the color that you want to get, well, you get some color that's a little bit off. Now, this can cause issues, and you know what? I'm not even going to get delve into the issues right now because I want to keep this as short and sweet as possible. So let's get straight into it. Because I understand that time is money and everyone wants to just get to the solution, I'm going to first cover the solution, and then I'm going to go into the explanation as to why the solution exists. The solution is pretty simple. You need to go to Edit. You need to scroll all the way down to color settings of your document or it doesn't really matter what document you're on and the only settings that matter are your color management why can't i say this color management policies there we are okay so you want to make sure rgb is off and your cmyk you want to make sure that preserve embedded profiles is selected all right out of all of these options okay you could probably also choose preserve numbers. Um, and again, I will discuss that, um, you know, when I get into the explanation as to why this works. All right. Under preserve embedded policies, uh, profiles, <laughs> you will get all these options, profile mismatches and missing profiles. You want to make sure all of these ask you before just doing their own thing. All right. And then you click OK. Now. When we're bringing an image in, so I'm going to finally found one where this is going to work. This photo I took, honestly, with a phone. The only thing that matters with regards to the image, regardless of whether it is PNG or JPEG or even a PSD file that you're just linking in your document, is the profile that the image comes with, okay? You do not want to discard that profile. That profile is golden, okay? That profile basically tells you know, Illustrator or whatever document you're working in, what to do with those colors. Now, the color numbers are infallible. Your hex code is infallible. Hex is sort of universal. Um, and that's why like your Pantone colors, whatever the hex code is for a Pantone color means that you can take your Pantone color, which is like a physical thing, and you can convert that into a digital format. And then when you're printing, you're going to get the exact correct Pantone color that you want based on the hex code. So hex codes are golden, right? So when they ask you, what would you like to do? So the embedded profile is this sRGB, blah, 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 whatever, right? The working space, I genuinely just changed it for this tutorial, is Profoto RGB, which I wouldn't really work in with Illustrator. That's better for Photoshop. Point is, some profiles are better for different use cases, right? The important part of what you're going to choose is you always want to keep the embedded profile. So what would you like to do? Discard the embedded profile, don't color manage, use the embedded profile instead of the working space. Always select the embedded profile. If the document asks you, unfortunately, I can't quickly find an example of this in my documents, but if it asks you whether you'd like to use the color numbers or the color, like what the image or the appearance of the color looks like, that will be an option that comes up always choose the numbers, not the appearance, all right? So use the embedded profile instead of the working space, press OK, and your image should remain unaltered, okay? This is really, really, really paramount and important, okay? When you are exporting, it shouldn't be an issue. If you are having any sort of issues, let me know. Hope that helped for all those guys who want the quick answer. <laughs> I did explain a little bit, but... To move on to the explanation part of this, what is happening is that your profile dictates how that hex code works. And when we're trying to maintain the appearance of an image, what it does sort of in the background is it looks at that hex code that's in the image and says, oh, that doesn't match my color profile. Let's try and find a similar hex code that matches my profile better. But inherently that will alter the image um, and the color that you bring into into your document. 
The reality is that when you're working across different documents, across different programs, you're going to use different profiles sometimes across all of them. In an ideal world, there would be one color profile to rule them all. But the reality is, for example, Profoto RGB is incredible for photo ed editing because it has a much larger spectrum of colors. Every profile has a particular spectrum of colors that it can work with, right? It's something similar to the concept of web save colors versus print colors. They're not always exactly the same. So maintaining your color numbers throughout is how you fundamentally can keep your images looking pretty much consistent regardless of what document you're pulling them into and what profiles they are. Yeah guys, I hope that helped in this quick tip video. Um, and like I said, none of, and just to kind of elaborate, none of these other settings matter. It does not matter what your working space is, your preferred working space, whether it's Adobe RGB, your display, uh, some sort of calibrated thingy-majig, it's all good. None of that matters, okay? I thought it did. I actually recorded this video before and re-recorded it because I learned some things since then. Uh, your document setup doesn't matter. All that matters is whether you're choosing the profile for the images and uh, the assets that you're pulling into Illustrator or whether Illustrator is deciding what to do with the profile of those images. Always make sure it's you, okay? Because the computer, she doesn't know. <laughs> awesome, guys. I really hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or anything that you would like answers to, please leave me a comment in the description box down below. To the best of my ability, I am actually changing... I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf this year. I don't really have a choice. I need to grow this channel um, like yesterday. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, procrastinating and dawdling. And you know what? We could go into the excuses as to why, but that's not really the point. I really want to grow this channel. I want to hit my monetization numbers. I want to grow the channel. I want to be helpful to you guys at the end of the day. So you know, yeah, if this content is helpful, please do consider sharing it with somebody else who might be find it useful. Consider subscribing and liking. It would help me a lot. Look, I recently became a single mom. Uh, sob story for the moment. <laughs> recently became a single mom. Unfortunately, I live in a place where I have no support. And so, yeah, I'm trying whatever I can to, you know, make ends meet for me and my son. And, um, I'm going to try very hard not to cry in a video, but it's been hard. I won't lie. It has been really difficult. Sorry if I'm uh, making anybody else teary. <laughs> my apologies. Um, but yeah, guys, I love creating this content for you. And if this could become my livelihood, if creating this content for you guys could help support me and my kid, um, that'd be amazing. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I love to help people. I really do. And it, it gives me joy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to, oh, and I'm saying this and I'm committing in a video, Nochal, um, I'm going to attempt to post, start posting more regularly. So I have a big book of video topics that I have not created. Um, so I'm going to start creating them and editing them and getting them out. Um, the quality of the editing might drop ever so slightly because I'm trying to be slightly less perfectionistic about how I do things just so that I can actually get more content out. Um, over time, you know, as the channel grows, we'll look at maybe hiring someone who's a bit of a better video editor than I am, who could, you know, maybe do this stuff out, fa do this stuff out faster, really. Um, <laughs> like create the editing uh, faster and neater and more consistently than me. I'm not really a video editor, guys. I, I do the best I can, but um, it's not my strong suit. Uh, I love you guys. I really look forward to, to saying hi in the next video. My name is Dasha. This is Photo Flare. You've been watching. I hope you have an awesome one, guys. Consider checking out the other videos. And yeah, comments, questions. Love you guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.